I think I'm done watching baseball. I know that sounds like I'm joking. I'm really serious. I really might actually be done watching baseball. After this season, after this series, after this quote-unquote era of Yankees baseball, I think that's it for me. If all baseball is going to give me, if watching this Yankee team, if all it's going to deliver me is a crippling amount of depression and an alcohol addiction, then really, what's the point? Life is too short for me to be depressed. Life is too short for me to be bummed out by watching this. As the Houston Astros today put the almost final nail in this Yankee coffin, in the Baby Bombers coffin, which I'll get to in just a second, but they really, really put a dagger in this team's heart. They are now up three games to nothing. They are one game away from going back to the World Series. You know, Yankee fans always chant, who's your daddy, who's your daddy? They chanted to Pedro, they chanted to uh, Naylor uh, last week. They always chant it, or that was this week already, my gosh. They always chant it, but you know what? That chant should be going, that, should be, that chant should be screamed in Houston right now. Because who's your daddy? The Astros are our daddy. The Astros, since 2015, have completely and utterly owned us in every way, shape, and form. And that's disappointing to think about considering how badly we wanted to beat this team. After all the, the, the losses and the, the cheating and everything, which I'll also get to in just a second, we really, really, really wanted to beat them and just stick it in every Astros fan's face. But no, no. Instead, they are not only beating us right now, in this series, they are embarrassing us. This is an embarrassment from the New York Yankees. To have an offense of this talent and this caliber be completely shut. And, and yes, as I've said before every one of these videos, the Astros are a great team. This is not about the, the Astros are a tremendous, tremendous baseball team. The, everything, I would not change one thing about them from top to bottom. They are, they are the best team in baseball, looking at talent-wise. They should win the World Series. They have all the talent. They, have, they, are, they are perfect, okay? Lineup, their bullpen is stacked. They got a good starting pitching in rotation there too. This is not about the Astros. I knew that this was going to be a tough series, but I did not think it would be this much of a beatdown, of a, let's call it what it is, a spanking. They, again, they are not beating the, the Yankees. They are beating the crap out of them. They are embarrassing them, pummeling them. This is a Yankees offense that is DOA. This is... We are coming up. It's the top of the ninth inning when I'm recording this. Again, I'm not bothering watching the bottom ninth. We are on 40 strikeouts, almost 40 strikeouts in three games. And the Yankees didn't even have the most strikeouts tonight, at least. So far, it's the Astros. Right now in the, in the ninth, it's 10-9. to 9. And the, But, but it, it, feels, it feels so much more. It feels so much more. Almost 40 strikeouts in three games. And it's the bottom of the ninth, but so far, to quote Bob Uecker from Major League, one goddamn hit. With this lineup, with this talent... That's embarrassing that we only get one hit. And you look at it, and there's so many guys right now who are not showing up when we need them to. Donaldson, who's always been a disappointment. Cabrera, we bring him in for a spark, nothing. Matt Carpenter, who has been awful since his injury. Guys like Rizzo and Glaber and Bader, who's the one bright spot we had. But Trevino has been awful for a while. But of course, the, the main talking point is Aaron Judge, who, as we pointed out, since his 60th home run, he's not been the same guy. He has He's had... What, four home runs since then? He's had a couple moments in between. But for the most part, he has not been that same guy. I don't know if it, the, the pressure got to him. We saw the pressure get to him in 2017, second half of that season. I don't know if it was injury, but the pressure got to, the pressure has gotten to him here. And the pressure has gotten to him in a lot of postseason. I know he's had a lot of big home runs, but there have been a lot of games where it's just 0 for 4, 0 for 4. And if this is one of the last games that we see as Aaron Judge as a Yankee, that's sad. And I would love to know right now, what would be the poll of Yankee fans, of all the Yankee fans? What, right now, as of this moment, what would be the poll on them who'd want to bring him back? I would think it'd be pretty high in favor of bringing him back. But Yankee fans, sometimes, they can have the postseason success. You know, I think there's some Yankee fans who are like, who cares what he did in the regular season? He sucked in the postseason. He's batting 083. That's all that matters. And some of them are like, you know what? Whatever. Let him walk. I think that's ridiculous. But I'd love to see that poll of Yankee fans who have to ask that. And Bader also got to point out, Bader and Judge were responsible for the play that really cost the Yankees here tonight, which is the second inning. The, the miscommunication there. I know some people were ready to blame Bader. I think, look, Judge is seven feet tall, okay? He, he blocked Bader's view, and, and yeah, I think there was miscommunication on that part, but then that led to Cole saying, I got it. Don't worry, I got you, man. Don't worry, I'm going to make up for it. And he lets McCormick, the nine-hitter, who is batting 333. Uh, look, McCormick, the nine-hitter on Houston, has a thousand slugging percentage this postseason. And I, 
My gosh. And he lets one rip in the right field off the wall. <laughs> and the Astros take a 2 nothing lead. And that was it. I, I, I knew they weren't coming back. And Cole, look, he was whatever. Um, he was good. At, Cole, it was a typical Cole performance where he was really solid for most of it, but then he had the one bad inning. Actually, he had two bad innings because he, then he had the fifth inning or the sixth inning, where that was, where he let three runners on base, but they probably let him in too long. And then Trevino came in and gave up all three runs. And right after that, it felt like a funeral at Yankee State. There was no difference from the sixth inning on, except for that brief moment in the eighth where the Yankees got the bases loaded and, of course, no runs. You, you, I, you just knew it because this team loves to tease you like a bad sitcom romance. R right. Right after that sixth inning, right after those three runs, there was no difference in Yankee Stadium between a baseball game and a funeral. The crowd was completely out of it. John Boy tweeted that they weren't even doing like the mid-game, uh, the, the between innings uh, games. They weren't even playing those. Everybody was so dead. And but I, and so I tweeted like, "There's no difference between this and a funeral." But somebody replied, and I thought it was very clever. At least funerals are free. So yeah, that, that's what makes this worse. But you know what really depressed? And I think every Yankee fan realized this. You saw the reactions of Yankee fans. I think what really hit them tonight, this felt like, and I mentioned at the beginning, this felt like the final nail in the coffin for the Baby Bombers era. That wonderful era that started, you know, right after the core four, we were wondering, right, who's going to be the next? Who's going to be the guys that take over? And right, and then from 2015, 2016, 2017, we get those guys come in. Guys like Judge and Bird and Torres and Duhar and Sanchez and Severino. We have all of this young talent looking to bring the Yankees into the future. And, of course, that first year, that 20, oh, and I mentioned it after game two, that amazing 2017 run where we come back from 2-0, we beat the Indians, and then we come back from 2-0 to be up 3-2 on Houston. We're one game away from the World Series. We're so excited. Everything is going our way. We have all of this young talent, and this is only year one. Think about how many more years we're going to have with this dynasty. And then we all know what happens. They lose those two games, and they never get that close again. Whether it was the Astros, the Red Sox, or even the freaking Rays, there was always somebody standing in their way. And there was, whether it was injuries, whether it was stupid contracts, whether it was a dumb manager and his crony general manager and his crony computer guys, whatever it was, there was always something that stood in the way. And the, this baby bomber team is going to be, I feel like, much like the 90s Knicks. A team that, look, and I love the 90s Knicks, even though I wasn't alive for it. But, you know, watching those highlights, a great physical basketball team really exemplified the era of New York. But that team was a failure. They never won a championship, they came close. 94, thanks, John Starks, 2 for 18. 95, you know, the Reggie, stupid Reggie Miller. And then, you know, 99, you know, we're, I guess, you know, we were lucky to get in that finals, but whatever. But they were a disappointment. That team was loved, but that was a disappointment. And this team, this Baby Bombers team, feels like the same thing. A lot of guys on there that we loved. It was a fun time for the period that it was there. But in the end, it's just going to be a huge, crippling disappointment. I mean, and look at those guys I mentioned, like Bird, Torres is not who we thought he was, and Duhard, I mean, that Sanchez, goodbye. Seve, he's good every time he comes back, which is like once every six months. And the reason why this also feels like the game final, the, tomorrow feels like the final nail in the Baby Bombers coffin, that tomorrow might be the final game of that era, of this era, which might be the most disappointing era in Yankees history. I, I'd have to ask somebody, has there ever been a more disappointing era than the Baby Bombers, considering where we thought they were going to be and what happened? I mean, you could talk about the 80s, but did anyone really have any expectations in the mid-80s, like, have we ever had a team that had this much hype and this much hope and promise and everybody thought this team was going to become the next, a dynasty in baseball and did not did, did not get any close to I'm going to ask, ask Yankee historians, has that ever happened? Because I cannot think of it right now in my in my brain. I cannot think of... I mean, yeah, at least, you know, the mid-2000s was disappointing, but we had those championships. It's been... It's going to be 13 years. 13 since the last Yankees championship. And I know Cubs fans are like 13 years, but for a Yankee fan, that hurts. That's a long, long, long time. For a team with this caliber, with this, with this money, we should have, we should, it should not be 13 years between title. So it does feel like that if this is the most, the, the reason why this is hurts is tomorrow might be the last game of Judge's Yankee career. And if that's it, that will really be the end of, because if, if Judge is gone, this team will be completely different next year. For one thing, it will not be as good. And then, so that's why this feels like the last great chance that this Yankee team has for a while to, to make it to a world. Because if Judge is gone, which I think a lot of us are, are concerned about, you know, this team isn't good enough to compete for an American League pennant. It, it isn't now. Without Judge, it's just worse. So that's why this hurts so much. And that's why everybody was so silent today and so quiet watching this game. And why I was just miserable watching it. And one last thing. I never want to hear another Yankee fan bring up trash cans or wires ever again. Because when you do that, 
You are only trying to deflect attention away from the fact that you haven't beaten this team yet. It's, it's kind of like how some men will buy really expensive, large things to overcompensate for the size of their manhood. So I've been told. That is what Yankee fans are doing. They're overcompensating for the fact that they have not beaten the Astros in now four postseason series. That they, They're trying to distract you with, oh, look, trash cans, wires, oh, gosh, it's cheaters, cheaters. All right, fine. You know what? Yeah, the Astros cheated. You know what they also did? Win. Try it once in a while. It'd be nice to win. It, apparently, I've heard it's a lovely feeling. I don't know what that's like because we haven't done it lately. So, yeah, do not bring up, do not bring up that stuff ever anymore. The Astros are a truly amazing team. Keep the Astros name out of your mouth. Until we beat them, keep the Astros name out your mouth, okay? They are so much better than us, it's not even scary. And they are lapping us, and they are laughing at us in Houston right now. They are embarrassing us. They are humiliating us. And good for everybody. Good for them. They deserve it. They are a great baseball team, and we are not. And I'm not even going to bother saying fire Boone, fire Cashman, because I know it's not going to happen. That's a sad thing. The Yankees are going to go by next year. The only change they're going to make is that Boone, uh, that judge is going to be there. But they'll keep Boone, they'll keep Cashman, because those guys are doing a great job. Those doing, guys are doing a great job failing expectations. So it, that's, it, that's what hurts, is that it looks like this is the end, and there's no end in sight. It looks like this is the end of that era, and there's no light at the end of the tunnel. That's what's really scary. And so now the Yankees are down 3-0, and one last thing. Boy, does it tick me off. Not only are the Yankees down 3-0, but now I have to be reminded, you know, the only other team ever to be down 3-0 is the Red Sox. Yeah, I know! That's the other traumatic event in my lifetime. Now this. Add th that. Now I got to be reminded of that. As I watch this decrepit, decaying offense, this pathetic excuse of an offense, I have to watch this. And I have to be reminded, oh yeah, remember 4 That was the last time a team blew a 3 nothing lead. I have to be reminded of that ever. I pray to God somebody ever, somebody... Ever blows 3 nothing because I cannot deal being the only team to ever do it. It just sucks. It just sucks. So, yeah. it's This is sad. It's really, really pathetic. And it's a disgrace. The Yankees, I thought they'd be able to put a challenge. I thought the Astros were going to win the series, but I thought they'd be able to bring a challenge. This isn't even a challenge. This is sad. This, is, this might as well be a bye for the Astros. And you know what? I hope they win tomorrow. I hope they win tomorrow. I hope they score 20 runs. I just want this season to be over and done with. Just put me out of my misery, finish the season off, and let me enjoy the rest of my fall. Let me enjoy, let me enjoy. I don't, don't bother winning game four just to lose game five. Don't bother winning game four and five just to lose game six. Don't bother winning games four, five, and six just to lose seven. Just lose tomorrow, and let's be done and finished with this awful, awful season. Well, not even awful season, just disappointing season. Because I thought this team was going to be good enough to go to the World Series. I thought, that for, there was a time this year where I thought the Yankees were actually going to be good enough. But then... That I, I'll remember the turning point. That June game where the Astros no hit us. The combined no hitter. That's when I knew they still owned us. That's when I knew we were not going to beat them. And from then on, I've had this existential dread because I knew the Astros were going to beat us in the ALCS. And not, they're not beating us, they're spanking us. I really don't have anything else to add other than I can't wait for the series to be over. That's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, you like what you see, make sure you subscribe down below. I'll be back whenever. F this team.